Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2019 Nettleton Television Dundee Awards. Awesome. We are coming at you live from the Front Page Cafe here in Jonesboro. My name is Craig Miller, and I'm going to be your host tonight. I know what some of you are thinking. We could have gotten a much better host for such a big event. Well, my mom says... My mom says that I do a great job at things like this. That's what she said. <laughs> Thank you very much. Our Nettleton Television program is project-based. That means that it is based on projects. And the last major project that we did was one called the NTV Office. Each one of our six classes chose a scene from the hit NBC TV comedy, the Office, my favorite modern show, and they recreated that scene. Tonight, we're going to hand out awards for excellent performances in that project, a.k.a. Dundies. The winners of these awards have been determined by popular vote among their peers, among NTV students. They voted in 18 different categories, so these winners were chosen by the students, not by me. I do not want to get beaten up in the Front Page Cafe parking lot. <laughs> again. <laughs> so, in the famous words of the Black Eyed Crows, let's get it started. Our first three Dundee Award winners were so awesome that they scared off all of their competition. First of all, let me introduce you to our best sensei. Here are your nominees for best sensei. Sarah Ernst. And the winner is <clears throat> High Drama. I like it. I like it. Drum roll. That's nice. That's nice. If you're watching us on the live stream, you will have this uh, highly coveted and very expensive gold-colored Dundee Award. It will be coming to you. So, uh, that's our first award. Up next, our next Dundee is based on a character who, ironically, was not a fan of the Dundees. Not at all. Please meet our best, Jan Levinson. Here are your nominees for Best Jan Levinson. Abby Williams. And the winner is... <clears throat> Unbelievable. Abby Williams! Congratulations to Abby, and it looks like Abby unable to be here tonight. That's okay. I'm sure she's very busy taking care of business. Uh, Abby, this Dundee is yours, and we will give it to you whenever school returns. I thought she did a great job as, as Jen Levinson, and congratulations to Abby Williams. All right. Uh, I promised something, and um, unlike most of the times whenever I promise something, tonight I'm going to deliver. I promised a very special celebrity guest presenter, and tonight the TMC delivered. Our special guest celebrity is none other than the host of the highest rated afternoon sports talk show that airs on 95.3 FM Monday through Friday. He went to Greene County Tech, but he told me on numerous occasions that he wished he would have been a Raider. I'm talking about the host of The Drive on KNEA. Please make welcome to the NTV Dundies, the one, the only, Brad Bobo. Thank you. 
Yes, sir. Congratulations. Yeah, oh, I appreciate that so much. So first and foremost, I want to thank uh, all of the celebrities that told Mr. Miller no to come to this thing. <laughs> I truly couldn't be here without them, and I appreciate that so much. And also, uh, I know he, he tried to, he, he did a good job of softening the blow in that introduction of trying to tell you guys who I am, but I'll leave when it's over, and you guys can stick around and, and ask. It, it, it's okay. I will not be offended. Um, hey, I'm a big fan of The Office. I'm also a big fan of you guys. We watch a, a lot of your work online and enjoy that, so it is a... It is uh, an honor to be here tonight. Now, uh, it's interesting, uh, a little bit ironic that, uh, that that I get to give the award that I get to give out tonight. As we kind of you know build up to that, say you know, Michael Scott. There are two things we know about him without fail. Number one is he loves him some Todd Packer, right? right. <laughs> and number two, he hates the subject of this next award. Now, let me say this about HR reps, because I happen to know quite a few of them. And a lot of them are really are dorks. And that's just <laughs> the nature of the beast. But they're not all dorks. In fact, believe it or not, there are even, get this guys, there are even hot HR reps. I'm married to one right back there in the back. Paige Bobo. That's right, Paige Bobo. <laughs> There should be a Dundee for hottest HR person. She would get it. But instead, let's, uh, let's see now the, the nominees for best Toby Flinderson. Here are your nominees for best Toby. Hayden Party. Oh, and the Dundee for best Toby. Goes to, thank you, Hayden Party. How about it? Who? In an upset. Is this it? That's it. Uh, well, Hayden's not here. <laughs> so we'll pass this along uh, to somebody, uh, and Mr. Milner can get that to him. Uh, by the way, do you guys, uh, at any point in these classes, and I think I know the answer, but help me out here. At any point, you guys, do y'all ever talk about this, the redundancy of this the TMC thing? Does that ever come up? Y'all ain't got it straightened out yet? Well, keep up with that, y'all. Project base, that'd be a huge project to get this jabroni to just start going by the MC. Good luck with that, and uh, hey, thanks for letting us be a part of this. Keep up the good work. All right. Brad Bobo, ladies and gentlemen. Brad Bobo. Hey, Brad, before you get out of here, before you get out of here, I got a special surprise for you. Um, a brand new Dundee that I just thought of. <clears throat> a, a Dundee for the best sports talk show host who doubled as a celebrity guest tonight. The winner is Brad Bobo. Yes. Very good, very good. There you go. You can thank uh, Bud Stropel, and you can thank the entire crew at KAIT for turning me down. Thank you, guys. Yes. All right. Yes. Outstanding. Thank you very much, Brad Bobo. He says that the TMC is redundant. I don't even know what redundant means. Oh. <clears throat> All right, let's move right along. Uh, we do have guest presenters tonight, and I, I want to introduce the first here. Um, our first three winners had no competition, but for the rest of the night, each Dundee is going to be contested, and each Dundee is going to be introduced by a special guest. Our first one is the coolest teacher at Nettleton High School, and an NTV star in his own right. Please make welcome NT, excuse me, NHS English and Literature Teacher Extraordinaire, Mr. Sean Watson. Good evening, good evening. As a huge Office fan, it is an honor to be here and to present Dundee Awards tonight. I'm so excited to be here. Now, this next Dundee, Thankfully, 
none of our students were harmed in the making of these NTV videos. However, this Dundee is based on the woman whom Michael Scott nearly killed whenever he accidentally hit her with his car. Meet your nominees for Best Meredith. Here are your nominees for Best Meredith. Abby Owens and Grace Freeman and Michaela Sproulin. And the winner of the Dundee for Best Meredith is... Or should I say the winners are Grace Freeman and Michaela Sproling. <laughs> However, neither of these two young ladies are here, so we will get these Dundies to you to as soon as you return to school. Thank you, Mr. Miller. All right, very good. Mr. Mr. Sean Watson, you will be hearing more from Mr. Watson here momentarily. Um, our next presenter is uh, one of the greatest, one of the all-time NTV greats. And there have been an awful lot of talented students who have come through this program and who have uh, made us proud. But uh, then there are students like our next presenter. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. This guy is one of the all-time NTV greats. He's actually the winner of last year's NTV Dundee for the best Michael Scott. Please make welcome future NTV Hall of Famer, Connor Barnes. Good evening, everybody. It's a great honor to be here, to be able to uh, you know, present some of these awards, so I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, in last year's NTV Office videos, accountant Oscar Martinez was accused of being a drug mule. Uh, this year, he just stood in the background, which is definitely a big improvement. Uh, here are the young men who portrayed Scranton's favorite Hispanic accountant. Here are your nominees for Best Oscar. Keandre Thomas and C.J. Davis. and Orlando Sandridge. And the winner is... Keandre Thomas! Speech. Speech. That's Keandre Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. One of the best speeches I've ever heard. Good job, Keandre. Well, our next guest presenter sadly did not get to participate in the NTV Office Project because he graduated in 2018, which was the year before we started doing this project. However, during his four years, that's right, four years as an NTV student, he established himself as one of the all-time greats. And I will promise you this, uh, from a guy that does an awful lot of kidding around, I'm being serious when I say this, there has never been a better young man to ever graduate from Nettleton High School than this guy. Please make welcome third generation Raider, Cole Morgan. It's a huge honor to be here at this uh, amazing, grand, big event. And um, I'm presenting an award that I think is very fitting. Uh, Ryan Howard won the Hottest in the Office Award at the original Dundies. And I think it's fitting because obviously I would have won that award here today. <laughs> but since it came from Michael, he wasn't too proud of this victory. So let's see the young men that portrayed this troubled man in this year's videos. Here are your nominees for Best Ryan. Will Jensen. Christopher Brodell. And the winner is... Will Jensen. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. 
I love it. I love it. And that's the second best speech I've heard here tonight. <laughs> yes, yes. Fantastic job. Fantastic job. And that was the first, the first uh, Dundee that um, that both nominees were were actually here. And um, I'm calling another audible. Uh, I've got a um, a Dundee not even been opened up for second place in the best Ryan competition. It goes to Christopher Brodell. <laughs> Go ahead, Brodell. Would you like to say some words to your people? Nothing. <laughs> hey. That's Christopher Brodell. Congratulations, Brodell. All right. Well, Kelly Kapoor was the airheaded customer relations rep for Dunder Mifflin. She was played by somebody much smarter than her character, a lady named Mindy Kaling. Here's a little Office trivia for you, that famous episode of The Office, The Dundies, which I think is one of the best episodes in the entire series, was actually written by the actress who played Kelly Kapoor. It was actually written by Mindy Kaling. Here are a look at the NTV students who played Kelly in the NTV office. Here are your nominees for Best Kelly. Stacy Hernandez. And Daniela Mesa. And the winner is... Stacy Hernandez. Congratulations to Stacy. Uh, she's uh, she's not able to be here tonight. Um, and also congratulations to Daniela who got second place. Daniela is an exchange student who is back in Colombia. So hopefully in Colombia, uh, Daniela is watching us on the live stream. Daniela, if you were here, I'd give you a, a, a second place Dundee. But since you're in Colombia, you ain't getting jack squat. So congratulations <laughs> to Stacy Hernandez. All right. Uh, up next, please may welcome to the stage once again to tell you about the best Creed nominees, Mr. Sean Watson. Yeah. I'm excited to present this award for my absolute favorite office character of all time. You know, it takes a special kind of person to accurately portray the creepiest character in the office. Let's take a look at these um, special young men. Here are your nominees for Best Creed. Kobe Baker. Xander Warren. And Malachi Small. And the winner of the NTV Dundee for Best Creed is... Colby Baker, who was unable to, thank you, Colby is unable to be here tonight, so Colby, if you're watching this on the live stream, we will have this Dundee ready for you whenever you come back to school in a couple of weeks. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Watson, and all of you ever just walk in the background and he won that Dundee. <laughs> Did y'all see, you know, that was, that was Colby, but he walked very well. Congratulations to Colby <laughs> Baker. All right, our next presenter is once again... The great Connor Barnes. Give it up for him. Now, I am very excited to uh, present this award because this is actually my fifth favorite character in the show. Um, some words that you might use to describe this character are slow moving, inattentive, dull maybe, constantly snacking, shows a lack of motivation. Honestly, that sounds like Kevin Malone from The Office. Here are the young men who played the heavy set and very dim witted character. Here are your nominees for Best Kevin Jacob Tarpley, Wynn Robinson, Braden Box. and Cameron Scarlett. And the winner is... Cameron Scarlett! Congratulations. 
Uh, I'm glad to be his fifth favorite character. Um, very high I'm not very heavy set, but in some people's eyes I could be. And thank you. There you go. That's awesome. That's awesome. Great job, Cameron Scarlett. And also a shout out to my man, Jacob Tarpley, who uh, got second place. And here's a participation tro or a. Uh, <laughs> Here's, here's a little dundee for you, Jake, the great Jacob Tarpley. Let's give this guy a hand as well. Cameron Scarlett. <laughs> By the way, uh, Brad Bobo is still hanging out back there. Glad to have Brad and Paige still hanging with us. Uh, remember that name, Bobo, Cameron Scarlett. I'll mark it down. He will be, he will be one of your players of the week next year on the, uh, on the drive. That's right, Tebow. Uh, congratulations, Cameron. Great football player, great uh, young man, and a great Kevin Malone impersonator. All right. Uh, Cole Morgan is up next, and he is going to present and deliver our best Stanley winner. How about a big hand for Cole Morgan? I'm very honored to present this award as probably the sassiest person in the office because I can be sassy myself. So... Boy, if you lost your dang mind, Stanley can help you find it. Did I stutter? Here are the NTV students who played the crankiest salesman at Dunder Mifflin. Here are your nominees for Best Stanley. Justin Livingston. DJ Devlin. Al Allison. And the winner is DJ, the big dog, Delvin! Beach! I'm very honored. Thank you, Cole. I'm going to give a shout out for all of y'all for voting for me. T Birds. <laughs> you already know the big dogs got to eat. <laughs> woo, woo. You know what to do. Yeah. You know what to do. Oh! out with that <laughs> the big dog does out of you man all right um phyllis vance y'all familiar with phyllis vance in the office she may look rather matron but michael scott's name was something that i probably should not repeat here on a family show <clears throat> because i really do like my job i'd like to keep it for as long as possible um, but you can watch the episode phyllis's wedding and you can find out what phyllis's nickname was in high school here are the young ladies who played phyllis whoa we gotta here are your nominees for best phyllis jenna Hauge, mckenna oliver claire mccord Alexis Weaver, and Megan Perrier. And the winner for Best Phyllis is McKenna Oliver. Congratulations to McKenna. McKenna actually got a hold of me earlier on social media and said that she's not going to be able to be here. They're having their family Christmas tonight. So, McKenna, hopefully, the live stream and your Dundee will be waiting for you whenever school goes back into session. Congratulations to McKenna Oliver. All right. Once again, mate, welcome to the podium. 
Mr. Sean Watson. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You know, quick-tempered paper salesman Andy Bernard was definitely what we'd call management material. Anger management material, but management material nonetheless. Let's meet the guys who played the world-famous Nard Dog. Here are your nominees for the best Andy. Ethan Hera. TMC, Mr. Miller. And Kaden Clark. And the winner is... The TMC, Mr. Miller. In a surprise to no one. Yes, because I got to count the votes. Uh, yes. All right. This is, this is awesome. Um, in the spirit of sportsmanship, I would like to say, in your face, Caden. Um, I would also like to thank my legs for all the support they've given me over the years. I'd like to thank my arms for always being by my side. And finally, I would like to thank my fingers because I've always been able to count on them. So, yes. Thank you very much. It is an honor to win this, this Dundee. All right, um, up next, we have got um, Connor, Connor Barnes. He is going to introduce us to the, the uh, nominees for Best Angela. It's Connor Barnes, everybody. Speaking of Angela, I think that she's probably the only woman on earth that could find Dwight Schrute attractive, but you know, <laughs> beauty is in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Uh, let's meet the young ladies who brought this uptight character to life. Here are your nominees for Best Angela, Eva Grace Barrett. Abby Davis. Allie Groves. And the winner is... Eva Grace Barrett! Awesome. We have got to um, fasten that cord better, don't we? It keeps on coming out. It's all good. It's all good. Congratulations to the great Eva Grace Barrett. Um, she had the, uh, the Angela facial expressions down. I wish you'd narrow those eyes at him. And that was, that was awesome. Very good job. Very proud of you, Eva Grace Barrett. All right, moving right along. Every office should have a cool prankster who breaks the fourth wall and looks at the camera like this. <laughs> well, at Dunder Mifflin Scranton, that guy was Jim Halpert. Let's give out a Dundee as soon as our projector uh, heats back up. Let's give out, let's meet the uh, nominees for the Dundee for Best Jim Halpert. Here are your nominees for Best Jim. Ransom Rand. Colby Miller. Adrian Southbar. Jack Jones. Seth McMasters. And Cameron Saylor. And the winner for Best Gym is... S 
Seth McMasters. Congratulations, Thank Seth. You. Um, Mr. Miller came up here and told us that the Dundee winners would be having to give a speech, so I started pretty much immediately. <laughs> and uh, I got it right here in my notes. Would y'all like to hear it? Yes. Well, you can't because I don't have one. Well played. Well played. Yes, very good. I like that. I like that. Um, the moms and dads might not have got that joke. <laughs> Just get your kids to explain that later. Well done. Masterful job there. Congratulations to Seth. And um, I see my man Cameron Salo over there. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, well, Cameron, here's a participation trophy for you. <laughs> Cameron Salo, who did a very good job as Jim in seventh period. Nice job, um, Cameron, and very nice job, Seth, who won the, the Dundee. All right. Um, Mr. Watson is going to introduce to you the nominees for Best Dwight. Another big hand for Mr. Sean Watson. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. These are the three words that Mr. Jim Halpert used to describe Dwight Schrute. I'd add one more to that list. Hilarious. Here are the young men who played the world's most famous and devoted paper salesman and beat farmer. Here are your nominees for Best Dwight. Kean Devers. Ryan Crawford. Jacob Holiday. Joaquin Daniels. And Sam Gary. The winner of Best White is Joaquin Daniels. Joaquin, if you're watching this right now on the live stream, we'll have this Dundee ready for you whenever you come back to school. Yes, all right. Thank you very much. Mr. Watson and Joaquin did a great job. He, was, he also did a fantastic job last year. He, I think he won the Dundee last year for Best Gym. So two-time Dundee award winner, and not many people can say that. Joaquin the Dream Daniels. All right, Cole Blake Morgan is coming up here. Looking at, we got, we got three more Dundees to give out. Are y'all doing okay out there? Everybody all right? Yes. Good deal. We're almost done, and, and we're sure glad to have everybody watching at home or wherever you may be watching from. Three more Dundies to go. Here to tell you about the next one is Cole Blake Morgan. I think it's very ironic that I get this award because I think in the very first season or second, whenever the first Dundies were happening, Pam was afraid she was going to get the hottest girl in the office award. So it's only ironic that I get that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I pride myself in my humility. Um, well, maybe I made that up, but besides the point, with her gentle spirit and her natural sense of humor, Pam Beasley won the hearts of both Jim and Roy, and arguably me. So let's find out who won the best Pam. Here are your nominees for best Pam. Chloe Reed. Olivia Tribble, Molly Beth Drew, Zoe Anderson, Madison Burrier, Keely Carter, And the winner is Molly Beth Drew. Yeah. And I think here to accept her award and 
give a speech that she has presented is Haley Durham. Come on down, Haley. Speech a long time, I know. Um, on behalf of Molly Beth, whom I know is very excited, and director of this film, um, it was only best that our brown, uh, brown-haired, pale girl would be Pam, and she did a heck of a job. So let's give it up for Molly Beth. <laughs> Very good. Outstanding job, Haley Durham. Wonderful. All right, so uh, congratulations to Molly Beth. I was very impressed with how Molly Beth even dressed like Pam. If you look at that episode that they they recreated, that scene they recreated, she was dressed uh, just like her. And also, uh, while I'm at it, I want to say a, a great big um, pat on the back to Emma Barrett, who edited the third period scene, the, the T-Bird scene. Great job, Emma, and great job to Molly Beth Drew, wherever you are. Molly Beth actually sent me a message on, on uh, social media earlier saying that she was traveling in from out of town, visiting a family for Christmas, was going to try to be here at the Front Page Cafe, but obviously she was not able to make it. So congratulations to Molly Beth, and your pal Haley will give you that, uh, that Dundee whenever uh, she sees you next. All right, uh, while we're waiting on our um, uh, often kicked off um, <laughs> projector to, to warm back up, let me give one more uh, impromptu Dundee. Um, and this, this goes to uh, our celebrity um, guest here tonight, his wonderful wife. They have stuck out the whole show back there. They've, they've been hanging out. So glad that they had. This goes to the coolest, I'm not going to say the hottest HR rep because she's not my wife and that would just be creepy and weird if I gave that. So um, the coolest HR rep, and you don't have to make a speech or anything, Miss Paige, but if you'll just walk this way, we'll send this Dundee to you. I'm talking about Paige Bobo. Let's give Paige a big hand. One thing that uh, Paige Bobo and I experienced together one night was uh, a Memphis wrestling show at the Earl Bell Coliseum. Uh, Brad Bobo, who who does the um, who does the voice, who does the sideline reporting for ASU, he was out of town. ASU happened to be playing that night, and so Paige Bobo and I uh, watched um, the uh, Memphis Memory Show. Lance Russell, Dave Brown, Jerry Lawler. I was in heaven, and there to uh, experience it was with me was Jeff McMillan, and also we sat right in front of Paige Bobo and her father. So in your face, Bobo! You didn't get to you didn't get to be a part of it. So congratulations to Paige Bobo. All right, I think we are back online, ready to roll. So let's get to it. Two more awards to go, and here to tell you about the penultimate award, the one and only Connor Barnes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll level with you. This is the best moment of my life. Uh, not only did I get to play this great character, but I get to give out the award to the guy that also played him this year. Uh, Dunder Mifflin Regional Manager Michael Scott is quite simply, the script here says one of the greatest TV characters. Guys, he is the greatest TV character of all time. I was honored to play him last year in NTV's office, and I'm honored to present to you the nominees for this year's Best Michael Scott. Here are your nominees for Best Michael. Daniel Golden. Jamarion Fowler. Chandler Hope. Kyle Tolley. Austin Arthur And the winner is
Kyle Tolley. So in this year's office, there's a, a lot of great Michaels, but only one can come victorious, and that was me. Yes. But like Mama said, it bees that way sometimes. That's right. And uh, just want to thank everybody for voting for me. That's great. You know, they say students in my class don't learn anything. <clears throat> but I will have you know that they learn what downtown Bruno's mama always said. They learned that. It bees that way sometime. And that made my heart swell with greater pride, KT, that you quoted the great downtown Bruno <laughs> in your speech. Very good. Very good. All right. Well, we have, uh, we're down to our final Dundee. We have six NTV classes, including lab. All six classes made NTV office videos. The judges ruled that lab's video was the best. So let the record state that the NTV champions and the winners of the Raider Pride Belt is fourth period lab. However, the Dundee goes to the class who won the people's vote. These are the people's champions, and they're about to be the Dundee award winners. Let's find out who that was. Here are your nominees for the best overall video. Here are your nominees for best overall video. First period, Toby returns. Second period, the fight. Third period, what's up dog? Fourth period, dinner party games. Sixth period, Dwight punches Michael. And seventh period, not no joke. And the winner of best overall video, according to the people's vote, is sixth period, Dwight punches Michael. Sixth period. Any members of sixth period here tonight? Who we got there? Okay, Cameron and uh, Seth. Yes, uh, you guys, Farkle, we'll see who gets to make the speech and gets to accept the... <laughs> Cameron saying Seth's closer. Come on up, Seth. Take the, uh, the Dundee and say a word or two. Seth McMasters, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, there's not much to say. No. The people decided, and we won. So for all the judges, I know you can hear me. Yeah, Y'all suck. Y'all don't know what you're doing, and y'all need to be changed. So, yep. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Nothing like a gracious winner. I love it. All right. <laughs> Great job, Seth. Well, one more award, and this is a special award, and the winner is actually not here tonight, but I still want to present it. This is called the uh, We Didn't Want to See That Award. It goes to the person who showed a little too much in the NTV Dundies. <clears throat> I think you already know what I'm talking about, maybe. You know, in, in the original office, Pam Beasley once said that she felt God in that Chili's. Well, I just would like to humbly thank God for the ability to blur video. <laughs> the winner of the We Did Not See Want to See That Award is Ryan Crawford. Congratulations, Ryan Crawford. And I will present that to him whenever we get back to school as well as a, a belt. All right, well, <laughs> We're just almost done here tonight, and before we get out of here, I want to say thanks to some very special folks. First of all, the Front Page Cafe and Mickey Phelps for providing the room. Let's give a great big hand for the Front Page Cafe. <laughs> 
Also, I want to say thanks to Joey Perry, Joey Perry's Martial Arts Academy. Uh, his wife, Kelly, who's Kelly on K-Fine. She's on the morning show with Brendan Baxter. Um, they provided the karate outfits for second period's video, just as gracious as they could be. I went in and asked if, if we could borrow some because I'd forgotten my wallet. <clears throat> and they were kind enough to just open up the karate vault you know here you go take this they call them geese i think those karate outfits you know take this is this gonna be big enough and the, they gave me headgear and they gave me all kind of other stuff just gracious as they could be that is uh, joey perry's martial arts academy big thanks to them also thanks to mike wessel hilltop fitness he was the man who provided the boxing headgear uh we greatly appreciate mike wessel and hilltop fitness and dr patrick fowler a nettleton graduate class of 1993 i believe dr fowler from Elite Optical. If you need an eye exam, go see him at Elite Optical. He was the one who provided the Dwight Schrute glasses that every class used. So big thanks to Dr. Patrick Fowler and Elite Optical. All right, one more thing, and this is kind of a, um, a little uh, special treat. Maybe you saw this coming, maybe you didn't. Before we get out of here, we're going to have a sing-along. We're going to have a sing-along. Yeah. We do this from time to time in NTV. I break out the old uh, six string and we, we have a, uh, a sing along. And um, the rules in the sing along is you got to sing along, all right? I have, uh, I've written a little song about the NTV office and um, <clears throat> you got a part, all right? The chorus, you're gonna help me out with. Um, the, uh, the chorus is um, something you'll pick on real quick. The words are easy. It goes like this. Na 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 we got Eva Grace, she's talking sharply to the man named Jacob Tarpley and Daniel Golden. He's no clown, he's busting in saying, ooh, brownies. Na, 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 between Michael Scott and his good buddy Dwight, Jamarion took Crawford low. He had him screaming, Michael, no! Na 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 The T-Bird's here and it didn't take long for Molly Beth to say, what's up, dog? Chandler won't leave DJ alone. He looks up and snaps, I'm on the phone. Na 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 It's a dinner party in TV lab, and Kyle Tolley is ticking off Ab. He's wondering if they read the news, and Little Jack is screaming, Tom Cruise! Na 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 Seth Master, Seth. <laughs> Seth McMasters is making all the girls' hearts melt. Joaquin the Dream's a purple belt. He punched Cade twice and rocked his world. Cade knows a bunch of 14 year old girls. Na 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 My wife, who is my conscience, just looked at me when I said that and was like, You should not have done that, Greg. I'm sorry, Lindsay. <clears throat> Thankfully, you're employed. All right, one more verse. Here we go. Austin's the boss, but he won't say no to telling Keely a knock-knock joke. Cameron Salo from way down south. He slapped the taste out of Sam Garrett's mouth and said, na 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 na
more time. Na 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 that's beautiful, awesome. Hey, that's all for the NTV Dundies tonight. Congratulations to all the winners. Make sure that you tip generously your waiters and waitresses, which I guess is just waitresses. I didn't see any male members of the wait staff. So tip your waitresses very generously before you gotta get out of here. As always, Raider Pride is justified. Raider Pride forever. A monster, he's a parting song.